Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do uh, your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it Aquarius. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, we're going to go from... Well, we'll, we'll we'll pull two cards for love. Um, well, we'll do past and present. And then we'll do two cards just for the general message. It could be about career and finance or whatever else. So let's see. Past for love. Past energy for love for the... Okay. So you've got... The King of Pentacles, the Empress, the Ten of Pentacles. Um, whoa, Aquarius, the Knight of Pentacles. All right, something's going on here. All the cards fell onto the floor. You might have already met the one that you're supposed to be with, or the one, the, <clears throat> the person you're supposed to marry. Look at this. Someone doesn't want me to say this. The emperor in reverse. The empress upright. So it looks like maybe a masculine energy wasn't ready. They weren't ready to have a firm foundation, a solid relationship. They knew that you were the one, that you were their counterpart. But they weren't ready for this. For whatever reason, there could have also been other women, other things, other people involved. This person didn't want to take on the responsibility um, of being the protector, the provider, maintaining security. Maybe they didn't have it. They didn't have money. They didn't have what you were looking for. Somebody sees you as a long-term person. They know that they want to marry you or they knew that you were marriage material here. They may have treated you unfair, unjust, Uh kept secrets, kept other people, kept you in in the, in an energy of not knowing where you stood with them. <clears throat> they could have even ghosted you. They feel like they owe you an apology. They owe, they feel like they want to work off some debt with you. If you are feminine energy, even if it's same sex, if you're the feminine energy, you came up as ready, ready for the connection. And maybe they weren't because they were still in the king of earth here, the king of pentacles energy so they were um some of your people already married already in connections already had obligation elsewhere some some of your people were just more so focused on them focused on making money you know having they were already comfortable with the system that they had created for themselves and you didn't fit in the plan they knew your value your worth but <clears throat> they weren't willing to make room for this some of them could have already been married. Um, and then they, they couldn't make a room for you. Of course, they're already married or coupled or in some relationship to where they couldn't give you what you deserved. Um, but they saw you as like some a person that they didn't ever want to be without or they didn't want you to be out of their lives. It looks like there is separation, though, with the justice card. Somebody... Is getting their karma in terms of how they treated you. Cause and effect <clears throat> happening here. Somebody feels like they want to repay the debts to you. They're indebted to you. Because you showed up as the empress upright. And they showed up as the emperor in the reverse. So they, sh they, sh they didn't display husband-like energy um behavior they weren't there wasn't a strong foundation it wasn't structured it was it's like the relationship didn't happen like it didn't go to the level of we're together you were ready and they weren't um <clears throat> let's see if we can get okay let's see if we can get some future energy there's no reason to kind of harp on this um they they just weren't ready for this uh but they they definitely see the value in you in the relationship 
It could be showing back up. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, lovers. So now they see the significance of the relationship. Uh, they see the significance of meeting you. With the lovers showing up, it says that when you don't make the right choice in a lover's type of relationship, in a divinely orchestrated connection, it has a long lasting implication. Like it stays with you. Like you don't forget this person. They don't just go out of your system. You, um, of course you endure karma. Okay. Um, because the, the universe did their part by bringing you and this person together, putting you in the same place at the right time. And then it was on you to make the decision or the choice of this person. And somebody didn't choose you or you didn't choose them. All because there was obstacle of maybe already being involved in something or somebody being materialistic and they wanted to be an individual. They wanted to have their own empire and they didn't want to share it is what I'm hearing. Somebody, I keep hearing materialistic. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> not trusting. Also not open. Somebody looking at their own family or their own upbringing and trying to base that off of whether they will marry or marry or or be coupled to someone also there. So anyway, your person could be showing back up because now they get the they understand the significance of the relationship. They're feeling it too with the justice and the lovers. They're they're feeling your your absence. You know, they say that men fall in love in the absence of and you know, women fall in love in the presence. So, um, if you're dealing, if you're a, a feminine energy, a woman, and you're dealing with a man, you guys are separated. This man could be realizing that you mean a lot to the, to him. Uh, you mean the world to him. Yeah. Do expect maybe an unexpected message, gift, something showing up for you where this person is going to display to you how they feel. Uh, maybe by way of buying you or gifting you something or just an unexpected message. All right, so let's get some general. Let's see if it'll be career and finance. You know what? Let's just ask for career and finance. Career and finance for the Aquarius. Some of you are getting very truthful about <clears throat> your money, your money habits. Um, understanding that money is a tool that you need to use correctly so that you can maintain or get to a level of prosperity. Okay. Money is a tool that you need to use correctly so that you can get to a level of prosperity or maintain your prosperity. Okay. Um, let's see. Money matters. They're two of wands. Some of you are doing two different things to bring in income. It says that, um, you find you're finding financial stability by doing these two different things. Okay. Each and every day. Um, but one of these things will dominate the other. And then there comes a decision that you'll have to make. You could be doing something that involves the arts or your spirituality or your psychic abilities or your emotions, or you could be in social work. You could have do something where you have to, you know, have, um, decorum or bedside manner. You could be in a uh, healthcare, childcare, some of you are pregnant. Some of you are on maternity maternity leave. Let's see. Got the lover showing up again. Some of you, yeah, you're going to have to make some choice about what you love to do. Is this really going to be the business that you're going, the business of you? Is it your brand? Are you going to put 110% behind it so that it can be your bread and butter where you get all of your, look how, I didn't even mean to do that. Okay, so look how the Queen of Cups covers that that other wand. Can you see that? So what it's saying is you're going to have to make a decision here of these two different things, right, uh, that you're doing to earn income. You're going to have to cut one out. You're going to have to choose. The lover sometimes talks about contracts, choosing what you love to do over, you know, maybe choosing what you love to do in terms of work. Wow, then you have the Knight of Swords. This talks about maybe even changing a job or career field quickly, two weeks or less, or you give two weeks or less notice, you do something quick. You gotta be directed, focused, have tunnel vision on making this thing work, whatever it is for you. You have the Fool card. It said you have a, 
following your dreams, you know, maybe even a pipe dream as some people would put it. Some people would look at your, your business plan, your, whatever it is you want to do. And they would say, okay, good luck with that. Um, but it says following that, following what may seem like to be a pipe dream, um, having a beginner's luck associated with you too. The universe says, you know, you're stepping out there on faith or you're going, taking the leap of faith. Therefore, we'll be with you in the beginning. We understand, you know, this is new for you. Uh, it's like the universe is trying to offer you something. It says, don't be so self-centered and focused on you and focus on these three cups and what wasn't working and what you're doing and what you were creating and how this was that. And that was this. And, and you're not seeing the blessing, missing the blessing, the gift that is being presented to you. Okay. And it could be in terms of, um, something about spirituality or uh, creative work, something that you create, it is inspired and then you create. Okay. Uh, so that's what I have there. Yeah. Finish what you start also with the seven of pentacles. Don't start something and then leave it half done and move on. Don't be so promiscuous in your, um, career and finance sector. Don't start something and then move on. The promiscuity can be defined as many starts, you know, no finishes. So don't be so promiscuous in terms of your finances and your career. Finish what you start. Harvest is coming. It is near. Persevere. See it through. Evaluate. If something has not been working or you don't think that it's going to, you're going to get to a place of maybe the Ten of Pentacles type of energy, then it says, take a step back, evaluate, see what you can change. You might be frustrated with the pro process or the progress, but you don't feel like it's done or it's over. See it through. See it through, whatever this is. All right, I'm going to leave it. Okay. And I'm going to leave you with one last card. Let's see. So open relationship at the bottom of the deck. Okay. That one. Okay. You're dating queen and dark male. Um, you got somebody here watching you. They feel like you are the dating queen or maybe you are. You have a lot of people vying for your attention, your affection. You got somebody watching you. Somebody that, um, it's going to come to light though, because you got the fair male coming out. So you got the dark and the fair male open relationship this person could have had you in a third party situation whomever's watching you is already ha they have history with you okay or they already have someone right now and if they come towards you it would be an open relationship but it says you know this could be your true love okay you it's distance between the two of you somebody wants to resurface somebody has had a change of personality change of their personal philosophy and they're trying to manifest you back by any means necessary maybe even you know manipulation there's it's self-interest and self-centeredness and uh might even be mind games this person is trying to manifest you back by way of like mind over matter like they think about you intensely just to get you to come back get an opportunity with you yeah wow they definitely see you as having a lot of options and you've kind of taken your hands off of this relationship with them you're not worried about it they wow they see you as the one 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 they see you as the one and the two and the three okay. the high priestess the empress and the queen of wands so they see you as um, wise, intuitive. They see you as a good mother, a creative, a standalone individual. They see you as charismatic, outgoing, 
entrepreneurial, charismatic, funny, beautiful. This he is abundant, you know, and this person is like upset with themselves. Wow, they're upset with themselves, kicking themselves for maybe not choosing you for the relationship being over. It says abrupt end, disappointment, toxicity, karmic. So abrupt end to some tox. All right. So now that you're not in their life, they it's like they they saw the toxicity that they were bringing, the third party situations that they were bringing, the duality that they were bringing into your life, not making a decision on you, choosing the relationship. And now that you're apart from them, you're away from them with the Ace of Swords here and there's no distraction. Now they're seeing, they're coming back saying like they're ready. You got, now you got the Emperor and the Empress in two different decks. The Emperor's coming up upright. They can't stop thinking about you and maybe even coming towards you. They want to fight for the opportunity at least to talk to you. Yeah. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down below. Um, if this is in a past, if this is your true love for some of you, if it's your true love, put some hearts down below. Manifest the person back, help them. Especially if you feel like this story resonates with you you feel like somebody is really going through the energy of transforming or transformation put some hearts down below if this is your person if you're wanting someone new i really didn't see new energy um but don't lose hope and do know that these are general readings they're not just for you you know and other people could want their ex back they could want to talk to someone they've had history with so be respectful of that. Be kind. If you're looking for new love, get outside. Get offline. Stop looking at tarot card readings. Go somewhere where there are other single people. Okay? So if you want someone back and you feel like they have done the work, or you, you could feel the vibration of them um, maybe um, ascending, getting better, coming out of toxic and karmic energy, put some hearts down below for your true love. And if you are... A single person you just want someone new put some hearts down below for that new person okay all right so that's what i have for you do keep in mind that you can get your own personal reading over at the website level so the website is linked below in the description box you can also learn the tarot with me you can take tarot classes with me the first tarot class starts um december 27th i'm so excited we've got some takers there we got some students um, also, if you want to purchase something for, for the, uh, channel, my Amazon wish list is below and, um, I am live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9 30 PM Eastern standard time. You can come ask questions and come for the collective reading. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.